Alright, today we're going to be looking at this quantitative exercise for book 6. Alright, so um, we have this example 6, 4, 25. We have example 2, 10, 1 over 2 and 6. And here we have 9, 6 and 55. So we're going to, um, whatever it is that will work for um, this, we also work for this and we also work for this okay so, so let's start with this um, example one so let's find uh, to find to get um, 25 let's start with that so to get 25 we're going to have uh, 6 times 4 is 24 so 24 plus 1 will give us 25 Okay, so let's try to find 6 to get 6. To get 6, we're going to have uh, 25 minus the uh, imaginary one is 24. And 24 divided by 4 is 6. And um, let's try to get, to get 4. And to get 4, we're going to also do the same. 25 minus 1 is 24. And 24 divided by 6 is 4. So as you can see, it worked here. So let's try the same example, um, the same method for this. So to get uh, 6, we have 10 times 1 over 2 and 10 times 1 over 2 we can have 2 here as 2 and 2 will go in 10 as 5 so we have 5 times 1 is 5 so 5 plus 1 is 6 so let's get the uh, to get um, to get 10 So we're going to have 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. I remember we we're trying to get uh, 10. So we have 5 divided by 1 over 2. 5 divided by 1 over 2. We have 5. You're going to have the reverse of this 2 over 1, which is, which is 10. Okay. So to get... 1 over 2, we're going to have 6 minus 1 is 5. So 5 divided by 10 is 1 over 2. Because 5 can divide itself 1 and 5 divided by 10 is 2. So as you can see, this worked for this. In the same way, it's also going to work here. 9 times 6 is 54. 54 plus 1 is 55. Uh, 55 minus 1 is 54. 54 divided by 9 is 6 and so on. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative solutions. Thank you very much and do have a nice day.